What happens when you do get the opportunity to get back home? Your home has been flooded and you are just now beginning the process. Maybe you've just been allowed to get back in. Here is some advice. Of course, follow the advice of the local authorities when it comes to this matter. But here, listen to this. Don't enter your home if power lines are visible. If the foundation seems crooked, you know, just take a, a, a look at your foundation, make sure things seem like they are right. If you hear hissing or smell gas, call the fire department, don't go back into that home, and don't use power if there's any standing water at and, the time. And that's a big one because, you know, during the height of the storm when the, the floodwaters were getting close to my home, I didn't get water luckily, right, but right. I went outside and turned the breaker off. Right. So do not turn the breaker Very back on well. until the water has receded out of your home. Now here's how you can protect yourself when you are entering your home. So keep this advice in mind. You need to assume that all flood water is contaminated. Be cautious of broken glass and animals. Wear water boots and other protective gear. We're seeing a lot of people posting on social media walking around in flip-flops or barefoot. You right. do not know what's in that water. Right. So make sure that you wear some protective gear around your feet, also um, your knees, ankles of that Sort. Be cautious of mold. You might want to wear your mask if the smell is too much. Um, masks are very uh, recommendable. Uh, wear those if you can and keep your hands clean at all times. So we have you back in the home now. How about these tips for you? Ventilate that home out very well. This won't come as a surprise. Sadly, I feel as though many of us are uh, more or less professionals at uh, the handling of a natural disaster at this point. But ventilate the place well. Leave those windows open. Open, get it dry in there. Toss out all the food that you have. There's almost nothing that's going to be okay after an extended period away from your home and through flooding. Remove any excess water that you see. Follow EPA guidelines uh, as they relate to mold and cleaning and mold cleaning. So just follow the EPA's guidelines. They're pretty good at this after some time. And sanitize everything. Wipe down the appliances and have those outlets checked. Yes, better be safe than sorry in all of these scenarios. Let's